Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, I've got a really important video for you today that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. Today I'm going to show you how to add up your scorecard, how to do it quickly. Now, even in the open division, with players that have been competing for quite some time, they either don't know how to do it, they're very slow at doing it, and they're prone to mistakes. I'm going to show you a method that tournament directors use to add up many, many scorecards quickly. Now, I know that we have the apps like UDISC and the PDGA app to help us take scores, but we still need to know how to do it manually on pencil and paper. Now, I'm going to show you the best method to do that. Now, there are many mistakes that people make. The biggest mistake is needing to know par to add up the scorecard. You do not need to know the par to add up the scorecard. In fact, the word par should never even come up when you're adding up your scorecard. Let's get to it. All right, so here we have a sample scorecard. And as you can see, it has nine holes. It is very important. The first thing you want to do is count how many holes you've played. 99% of the time we're playing 18 holes. But every now and then we will play a 19th or a 20th hole. It is imperative, very important, that you know how many holes you've played. So we're going to take the number, in this case 9. We're going to multiply it times the key number. The key number is 3. That's going to give us our base number of 27. Now, don't worry about the terms key number, base number. This is just for the example. It doesn't really matter. 27 is the base number, though. When we're looking at the scorecard, we're basing everything off the number 3. That's why I'm saying that's the key number. We are going to ignore any score with the number 3 on it. Now, any score that is above or below 3, this is going to be our focus. So we will start with holes that are above a 3. Here we have 1 as a 4. That's 1 above the 3. 1 above the 3. And here we have a 5. That's 2 above the 3. So then we add those up. 1, 2, 3, 4. That gives us plus 4. Next, we're going to look at the numbers that are below the key number 3. Here's a 2. That's 1 below. Here's a 2. That's 1 below. And here is another 2. That's 1 below 3. We add those up. 1, 2, 3. That is minus 3 because it is below the 3. We do the math and we come up with plus 1. The difference, add that, 27 plus 1, 28. That is going to be your score for that round. Notice that I didn't say the word par at all, because par is irrelevant. In fact, if you have a player who's going to add up the scorecards, and the first thing they ask is, what's the course par? Politely take that card from them because they do not know what they're doing. Par is irrelevant. Now let me give you an example on a full scorecard. Now. Alright, so here is a sample scorecard. Let me show you how I added up really quickly. First thing I do, how many holes did I play? I played 18. 18 times the key number 3, that gives me 54. 99% of the time, I'm basing it off 54. Here we go. One down, two down, three down, four down, five down, six down, seven down. One, two, three, four, five, 
6 over. The difference is minus 1. Take that from 54. My score is a 53. It is that quick. Let me slow it down for you and show you again. So I'm starting with the holes that I scored less than three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is seven below the key number three. Then I'm looking below the key number, above the key number four, uh, sorry, above the key number three. One, two, three, four, five, six is a blow up hole. Take the difference here and it is minus one. Minus one from 54 is 53. That's our score. That's how you do it. It's that simple, that quick. Now, if you're playing golf and your scores are not going to be like this unless your name is uh, Tiger Woods, you might want to do a key number of 4. 18 times 4, that's 72. That's if you're a really good golfer. Or 18 times 5, use the key number 5, and that is going to give you 90. That's another quick way to quickly add your scorecard, disc golf or in golf. All right, guys, it's that simple. I hope that helped you out a lot. And um, now you can absolutely take charge. Let me take that scorecard. I'll add it up really quick for you guys. Be the man in charge or lady in charge. Until the next time, fellas, have fun when you're training.